And I'm sure everybody definitely knows who you are. Yep, but yep, some people yep, might be yep. asking the question like, where you been, man? Um, I've been perfecting my craft, let's say. I've, I've taken time away to kind of create my sound, uh, get in my lane and, and kind of just take myself to the next level. Ooh, so you feel like it wasn't perfected 2009 when you nah, came out of my game? you know what skank? it was? See, my game skank, it, it blew up so quick that I didn't anticipate how far it was and how quick it was going to kind of excel. So it was a thing where there was nothing else. So then I had to go in and start um, making stuff. Some of it was rushed, some of it was there, but then if I'd released that stuff, there would have been nothing behind that. Mm-hmm. And then I thought, let me just take the time out and create the body. Mm-hmm. And that way I can just continue to keep dropping good See, records. You know what? Give us your history in your words then, because for those that don't know, you was messing with the grime for a yeah, bit before, um, then you're renowned for Migraine Skank, which yeah. is funky, then you got the new single out now, which yeah. is kind of hip hop. So yeah, tell us like, your story, um, man. Basically, I'd, I'd say I'm, I'm quite diverse in the sense of, I listen to quite a few different things. So I was able to kind of get different bits from different types of music. So when I was doing the grime thing, it was kind of um, on a minimal level, just um, going on certain stations and, and doing youth centers and DVDs and stuff like that. And then um, the migraine, it was a thing where I saw an opportunity in the sense of, I just liked the fact that Funky on a whole had people dancing and had people kind of moving and it gave them some sort of energy. So then when I used to go out, me and my friends, we'd do the dance and then uh, my friend YFM, he would do the dance and other people would emulate it. So I thought, let me try and put it into steps and see how far I could take it and then obviously it caught on and I was just happy that the whole dance element and me being a bubbly person it was able to kind of come across and then with hands in the air it was the transition I was trying to make because I didn't want to get bracketed as just that guy I didn't want to be that that guy forever so then I still wanted to keep it club I still wanted to pop off a rave but I wanted to make it a bit more lyrical and have a bit more structure and depth to it and then this is where we are now you know people have hits but not too many people or artists define a year or a summer like the way mm. that that track did and you're saying that you didn't anticipate mm. that but like when you look back and you look at what you had how do you look back at it man i find, i just think it's funny like i just have to sit there and kind of analyze how far and how big it got because it was a thing where when i thought it was coming to a halt something else would happen and then it would just take it to a whole new level. And when I look about it, I just see it as it was just a great platform to kind of put me in the front of people's minds so they know that when this guy comes with his next thing, he's coming off the back of this. So then it's a bit easier to kind of continue on going. You know, a lot of people were definitely vibesing out in the dances wherever they heard yeah. that track. But not a lot of people could actually do the dance how it was supposed to be nah, done. You know that, innit? Nah, um, I saw some poor displays. <laughs> but um, it was love because they was trying. But I did see some awful displays. So how much credit do you actually take for inventing the dance, the migraine skank? i say 50%. Ooh. Like, um, big shout out to my boy, my brother, YFM. Like, um, he, he, would, he would just have the silk and the flair to it and then... Obviously, I did the style in it, and then um, from there, it just formulated into a thing, and I just put his vision and my vision into steps, and then went from there. Do you see yourself as much of a dancer? Like, will you be definitely? Yeah, I'm an OG man. I'm an OG. <laughs> like all the weddings and that, I'm an OG two-step bad man. I'm a certified dancer, so it was easier. Whereas I could move, so then doing the the, the, the YouTube step by step video, I kind of find it. Them. I'm sure a lot of people have definitely thrown this question at you and I'm mm. sure you've had to answer it a lot of times, man. The one hit wonder mm. category, man. How do you feel about maybe being put into that? Oh, it was annoying because there was issues that were preventing me from releasing more music when I had more music. So then it was jarring and then I could see on Twitter and other things, this one hit wonder stuff and it was bugging me. So then what I did was I just threw a record out there and then after that, radio was jumping on it and then people started jumping in it saying, right, okay, if Gracious continues in this lane, then he's gonna kind of get rid of that. And then um, that record didn't come out due to whatever reasons. And then not everyone got to hear it. So then to some people, the ignorance was that he was a one hit wonder. And I was like, well, to be honest, I could only be a one hit wonder because I haven't tried to bring out other music. So then if I bring out something else you don't like it, then fair enough. And then it was, yeah. Is this the Casio track that you're this talking about? This is the about? Casio record that I brought out with Da Vinci on the hook and, and radio latched onto it, all the stations. And then there was a thing where, it was supposed to be that record that was going to set that transition, but then certain things just kind of shagged it and then 
Boy. For those that don't know, man, you're related to DC. Yeah. That is definitely like, I don't know, that's like a gift and a curse. You've got yeah. someone in the family that's yeah, so successful, so talented. Is that something that inspires you or is that something yeah, that really kind of... It's, it's a bit of both. It's, 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 it's Obviously, I look to his success and what he's doing. And obviously, I try and like emulate where he's gone. But then at the same time, I'm me and I'm trying to be me. And we always have this conversation where he was like, where do you want to go with the music? And obviously, I want to be known for me who broke through, not because he bust me, because then no one's ever going to respect me. They're going to be like, yeah, you bust off him. That Does he give you a lot of advice? Yeah, yeah. And he, when I told him that, he was like, right, I thought you were just going to latch on. So I can respect that you're trying to do your thing as a man. And I was like, yeah, cool. No collaboration or anytime soon? Wait, when I get bigger, personally i feel like then i've got more leeway so then it's me it's gracious featuring dizzy not dizzy featuring that guy mm-hmm. so you're, you're in this yeah. for the long haul then yeah man, you know I'm, there I'm are a few banner. people that thought maybe you've quit no nah, no nah. i was just trying to work it out how i'm going to come back because i kind of fell into the place where people was like ah, oh, the next tune has to be sick because migraine rare and i was like well to be honest it just has if it's if it's a, if it depending on what genre it is as long as it's a hit in that genre it's cool so trying to make another funky record was more pressure because I'm coming off the back of a big funky record. So if I make an R&B track or a hip hop track, if it's big in that field, mm-hmm. then I'll just conquer all of them. You got the mm. deal obviously with Sony RCA mm. with my game mm. You're not signed anymore. No. Tell us what happened with the deal, man. Came in, quite a few labels came in. Uh, it was exciting times, but then it was a thing where like they, I think they tried, I think they believed that was all I was good for. So it was a thing where they tried to bracket the situation where it was a thing where when I was giving them other music, they was like, yeah, they don't get it. Whereas I'm trying to explain to them that obviously me being my age, I can see what's going on around the situation. And then um, it, just, it, just, it just didn't work out. It was a thing where it was just kind of like not shelved, but then it was just too blase. Everything was just lackluster. No one was kind of putting their foot down. And the big people was kind of saying, yeah, well, go on for the Gracious Project because obviously I'm hearing he's got big stuff, but then other people was just, why, well, innit? And then um, it's just a thing where I wanted to kind of leave and do my own thing, but then at the same time, they had heard a few things I'd done with some producers and they were sorting themselves out. So they didn't want to let go because obviously they was working themselves out and then they would come and jump back on it. But then I was like, it just all takes too long. And if I just do it myself and build the brand bigger, and then I can have more to play with later on in the future. But the check and the band transfer. Yeah, that was, was nice. That was all good. That was all good. That that set me up nice. Like I cannot complain at all. Top of 2012, you got your new single, Hands in the Air. We're about to get into that, man. I'm gonna just ask you this, man. Mm. It's quite different to Migraine Skank, yeah. what a lot of people know you from. Did you feel like you was taking a big risk with this? No, nah, because I knew what I was capable of. I was only taking a risk in the sense of I didn't know how it would be received from other people who may have only thought I was good for that type of music. But then it was a thing where I thought, well, it's minor because at the same time, because I've only brought out one record, you can't say that's me because there's nothing else to kind of stencil from. So then I thought, if I bring this out, let's just go with it, man. Let's just me beat. I'm going to be me. And then if they like it, they like it. And... Luckily, they have liked it, so I cannot complain. 